An organization launched by the host of CNBC's The Profit, Marcus Limonis, aims to provide millions of dollars in aid to small businesses and underserved communities. He has even pledged $50 million of his own money to the Lemonade Foundation because he's made it his goal to help others. He's also launching a business learning center that provides free tools and guidance resources to entrepreneurs. Marcus Limonis is with us this morning. Tell us more about it. Good morning. Good to Hi, talk Marcus. to you again. Well, I want to talk a little bit more about the dancing that you guys just did. Thank it was you. amazing. It's, it's a horrible song, Marcus. It's a great don't song, get that, Marcus. Don't get we'll chat. pulled down uh -huh, with thank her. You. Oh, no. I get in the whole, everybody's into it, Larry. Come on. We're having fun. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Come on, Larry. Come on. Well, you know what? This is appropriate for the holidays because it's like so many small businesses because of this pandemic yeah. are suffering. Is it is this kind of like the profit where you invest in these companies with your money? How does it work? So, you know, first and foremost, this whole foundation that my wife and I set up is largely to deal with underserved communities and underserved individuals, right? We know there's a segment of the market that just hasn't been served for years. And so what we want to do is we want to provide grants, loans, and investments, grants, loans, and investments to those underserved communities and underserved individuals. And $50 million is just the start for us. We think it's going to have a big impact, but, you know, it, there's a lot of people that need help. That's for sure. So how do you qualify? So what we want people to do is you go on to the Lemonade, uh, you go to my website, MarcusLimonis.com, and there's a brand new learning center that we launched. And unlike other places where you can just, you know, get money, I'm going to ask you to go through a curriculum. You're going to have to pass these tests. Uh, you're going to apply. And uh, there's a small little group of people that will determine it. But uh, ultimately, over the next six to 12 months, you'll see money starting to be deployed. In fact, some of the money started to be deployed yesterday uh, in launching a food program. And so we are looking for little pockets of opportunity, particularly in markets that are important to me, like Miami and Chicago. Uh, for those who say, you know, it would be really fun to start my own business. I could be my own boss. I'll do a gift shop. Gifts are fun or whatever the case. And I'm sure it's always harder and more complicated than they think. What are some common mistakes that people should know before they even go down that road? Well, first, Larry, I think right now is actually the best time to open a business, right? Particularly if you have something that you can sell online or a service that could solve a problem that exists today. But one of the things that we want people to do is not be so excited about just starting a business. You got to have a plan, you got to have some capital, and you got to actually be prepared that it may not work. And a lot of times people go into it thinking, I'm going to open my own business because I want to be my own boss and I want to write my own checks. And we Oh, no, that's not how business works, right? It's tough in the first couple of years. But now may be a better time than ever to start one. We've always known that the restaurant business, one of the toughest businesses in the, in, to survive now. Yeah. Uh, what do you recommend to, you know, restaurant owners out there that have been around for years and years? And, I mean, you have to have some advice for them. I do, actually. In fact, we're launching something uh, later today or tomorrow morning that is specifically to restaurant owners as part of this foundation. My biggest concern today is those restaurant owners that don't have a connection to a delivery service, a, a Grubhub type of company, which, you know, Grubhub is a Chicago company. And we want to make sure that while they may think the fees are a little higher than they'd like them to be, this connectivity to the customer, particularly as we go through another lockdown of sorts, is going to be more important than ever. If you own a restaurant today and you're not on a delivery platform, I don't know if you'll be open four or five months from now. And so you have to really move your business forward right now. Wow. Well, right. if people want more information about how to apply, they can check out MarcusLimonis.com. Marcus, thanks so much and uh, have a lovely holiday. You got holiday. it. Let's go, Larry.